this is an audio test. Awesome. Chat test is working absolutely fine, TK. Thank you very much. It's very bizarre. This stream is like the moment I say something, it comes out on screen, so it's super fast compared to Twitch. How you doing, amigo? Ooh. Get going in a minute. I wonder if I can put the chat into the game. Let's have a look. I think you can. Chat on. See where that goes. Doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Chat on. How's the squish? I can actually see the chat now on the telly screen with the game, which will no way will. The squish is slightly squishy, still and drying out. Uh, for anybody watching this later who doesn't know, I've got a leaky pipe. We've had a water leak in the squishy carpet, so yeah. It's still damp. We've still got a drip, although we can now catch it in a bowl, which is kind of handy. Time are we on? Where's my mouse? Time wheel. Which one minute past should we get going? Right, hello everybody. And TK, who's the only one in chat so far. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Fox Model Making Guru here. This is just a quick test stream. It's just me testing out Mixer instead of using Twitch for tech gamings. Um, I've been doing my research and little tests behind the scenes. Twitch seems far better than. I'm uh, oh, sorry. Mixer, this seems far superior to Twitch. Uh, first of all, I can have the chat on the screen, which is great. Uh, it's also pretty much the difference between me doing something and you seeing it is like half a second. So you're not getting like 30 seconds delay, which is uh, 30 seconds or 40 seconds delay, which is nice. Uh, also, it's easy to do on my Xbox because it's Microsoft's thing, so I just press a button, dip, broadcast, done. So, right, what we're going to do, I'm just going to play around and test this out and chat to you guys. If anyone else joins in the chat, TK is all, all by him, is Todd. Come join in, come join in. Uh, but if you're watching this after the fact, I'll show you what we're doing. Uh, I have, I'm going to be playing with some mods. Um, I worked out earlier on. I've got two, two gameplays, one without mods and one with mods. Uh, and I worked out I've got 528 hours so far in this game. <laughs> Most of that, as you can see here, 14 hours, 20, 14 days, 21 hours and 58 minutes with mods. Um, I played this game normally, and I loved Fallout 3, and then Fallout 4 came out, and it was like, eh, it's alright, it's not brilliant, it's not, it's not the same, there's not as much environmental storytelling. With Fallout 3 I spent... 800 hours just wandering around finding things that were, every building had if not an actual quest in there it had it had stuff to do it, so it was like but this is a bit more sparse but then I put some mods on it mods just made everything better so let's go and have a look mods made everything in the world better far superior I'll show you my mods and, and things Got no sound. Why have we got no sound? Hang on. Is my sound on? Oh, it's, it's just very quiet. <laughs> Turn the volume up, dear boy. Uh. TK says the stream breaks up for a second or so occasionally. Not sure if that's my PC or the actual stream. It might be the actual stream. It's all fairly new, this mix of nonsense, so. Yeah. Now it's actually raining outside, so I'm just going to turn that rain off so it's not a constant noise. Uh, doo -doo -doo. 
I wanted, I wanted. I'll go through my, uh, I'll go through my mods with you and show you what I've got. So if you play Fallout 4 and you weren't impressed with it, I'll show you some mods that might make life a lot better. So let's have a look at the mods. We have installated. I keep looking at my computer screen TK to read your chat, but it's in the top left of my telly screen, so I need to stop doing that. <sighs> right, we have uh, quite a few mods installed, as you can see. Quite a lot. Let me tell you, mods, they make this game go from boring and not fun to just absolute make it how you want fun. Uh, first thing I've got is uh, True Storms Wasteland Edition, which is brilliant. It just gives you control of the weather. And it adds a load of extra weathers like storms and dust storms and stuff. I absolutely adore two of them. Clear, which is just nice bright sunshine and no nonsense. Um, and I also have uh, rain, which is pouring down rain and thunder and lightning. And when I'm in a city or a town, I like the rain. Because not only is it just more atmospheric, and my headset is clicking, I don't like it. Not only is it more atmospheric, but it also gives you a bit of extra stealth, which is kind of cool. You're a bit more stealthy because of all the noise, the rain and the thunder and lightning. Uh, we have another green mod desaturated. Playing this on the Xbox One X, by the way. Another green mod desaturated, which gives uh, lots of sort of bushes and things in the wasteland. Makes it a bit more interesting. I have tried a couple of the other green mods. Uh, what was the other one I had? Uh, I think the other one was Green Wasteland. However, I found with if it was called Green Wasteland, that one gave me a lot of frame rate issues because it's quite intense on the process. Even on the Xbox One X with everything else running, it was giving me choppy frame rate. So I took it out and put this one in instead and this gives me no frame rate issues at all uh, Boston FPX fix that just fixed the crappy frame rate in Boston if you played the game and you go around downtown Boston the frame rate drops to arse basically it's horrible so get yourself the Boston FPS fix again this is on Xbox One or Xbox One X um, I don't know what the PS4 mods are and on PC if you're playing on PC there's obviously a billion more mods so there you go uh, far less fog in Far Harbour. I've got the Far Harbour add-on and I added that because the fog pissed me off. It was hard to have any fun, so I took that off. Third person aiming down sights. I'll show you that. It's awesome. Uh, Modable Pit Boy is one where I can have one that injects stim packs when I get on a low health, but it don't know if it actually ever worked, but I just, I just left it on. Infinite ammo for companions. They no longer run out of ammo, which is great. And if you give them a specific weapon with a specific ammo, they use that weapon. noise there's like the it's hard to explain there's lots of little sort of animal noises and wind and rustling and stuff it's really really nice it's absolutely beautiful except one sound which is like an owl sound and it's horrible and it's you, you might hear it uh, realistic headshots means a headshot is one shot kill most of all for most things uh, that's the expansion dr. Mobius infinite stash I'll show you this this is basically I can recreate any item in the game it's brilliant it's, it's a complete cheat mod, but it's great. Uh, Dave, simple depth of field. Just gives me a little bit of a depth of field thing, but I kind of turned it off. It, it was not brilliant. Turret opera. If we see any turrets, it makes the turrets in the game uh, have lines like the turrets from Portal. It's absolutely fantabulous. Uh, I've turned this one off, because uh, but one minute man radiant quest at a time. If you get sick of um, Preston Garvey giving you quests every five minutes, this just limits it to one at a time. I've turned it off because I'm having an issue with one of the quests. Gunsmoke. This is brilliant. Again, you'll see this. This just does what it says on the tin. It gives you gunsmoke. Sometimes it makes it hard to see if you're shooting a lot of dudes, but it just makes it awesome. Now, this is my favourite one. M1 Garand Rifle. I've got some weapon packs, but my favourite is the M1 Garand, and I'll show you that. This changed the whole game for me. All the weapons in this game are boring, except I've added this, and it changes the whole way I play. It's now not a case of run around and shoot things. It's a case of I have to actually aim to, to do headshots and stuff. So, And this is brilliant. Um, that's a box that I can sell stuff. I've got an infinite jetpack. Uh, really unlimited carry weight. I can carry quite a lot of stuff. Wait anywhere. kind of You can wait wherever you want rather than having to sit down. Hollow time just changes the time of the game so it's a bit more realistic. Um, so you can have it 24 hours. is actually 24 hours. Um, a lot of the settings actually create bugs and glitches. So it does say when you do it which ones are recommended. I've got it set to about 8 hours, so one day takes about 8 hours. Realistic sound, just adds a sort of echoey effect and stuff and reverberation, it's quite nice. Crowded Commonwealth adds stuff and junk and things lying around. 
uh, plenty of exploration adds loads of locations as you can see there on the right loads of extra locations just puts things in the landscape the one thing I didn't like about this game was when you're outside the towns I'm doing a lot of talking not playing here but this is in case you want to play this uh, when you're outside the towns there's not really a lot there there's a few bits and bobs and it's just kind of empty and there's not a lot of people about there it's dudes you can shoot there's not a lot going on it's kind of dead landscape so these are quite good expanding Boston again has loads of makes loads of on sort of buildings in Boston have interiors key nuker puts all your keys in one place uh, realistic ragdoll just makes them not fly across the landscape uh, the most elegant sniper rifle it's brilliant I've got that as my sniper rifle. It's got something like 3,000 damage. It's insane. I don't use it very often, but it is insane. Uh, Beantown Interiors, uh, quite a well-known one. It just puts loads of interiors into Boston and other places uh, and gives them some things to do. Mauser Family Rifle Pack, you'll see that weapon. It's a bolt-action, five-round clip Mauser. You can, you can upgrade them. All these weapons you can upgrade. And this is my sort of medium-range scoped weapon. Field of View Boost, yep, that explains itself quite easily. Uh, this doesn't work, the portable hazmat 2000, it says it should make this gas mask be as good as the hazmat suit. It doesn't, it's crap. And Zombie Walkers, my second favourite, changes all the ghouls, they no longer run at you and charge. All the ghouls are now zombies, they shuffle, they, they shamble. And I've got them set, so they have to have headshots to die, it's great. Colour map, that explains itself. I've not got that one activated because it didn't do anything. And the Pip-Boy colour enhancer just gives me colour Pip-Boy, so that's enough talking. Let's crack on. So you can see here I've got my M1 Grand, and I love it. I've got it set so uh, it's got the half sight with the traditional sight on the end. Uh, now I don't like the sound. Although it does have the ping, which is fantastic. It doesn't have the correct sound. It doesn't have the Medal of Honor Frontline Grand sound, which to me is the proper correct sound. So I do miss that. You can get some actual zoom sights for this. Uh, and they're quite nice because they're, they're see-through sights, so you just it pops up with a sight in the middle of the screen you can see through it, but I find it incredibly hard to aim with. I actually find this sight the easiest one to use for headshots. You can mod this so it has little green lights on it, but I don't want to make life too easy. So let's just have a look around. Now of course I can pick up anything because I've got a ton of storage space. Uh, and I'll show you, basically, my way of playing is slow and stealthy and not very exciting. So this is just a test. Hey Chris, how you doing mate? Hello Chris, we can we can see your wordings. Chris is having broadband problems. Bless him. Let's see where this takes us. I'll show you some of the weapons anyway, so yeah. So this is the Garand. Uh, and it just makes the game more interesting because... Why does it make it more interesting? Because with the other weapons in the game, you just sp spray and pray. With this one, um, it doesn't have a high damage. Let's have a look. There's weapons. Uh, do -do -do, do -do -do. Let's find, find it. Oh god, I've just I've made a terrible mistake and I'm carrying a million weapons. Uh, right, so it's only got one. It's only got 192 damage, which isn't brilliant. I'm I'm currently level 192. Uh, no, 130 something. So it's not got a lot of damage. It can kill a one shot on a critical, which is great. One shot critical kills, uh, but it's quite you know it makes a lot of noise, so they'll hear you. So you want to be as accurate as you can. I've got it set for headshots as one hot shot kills. That's my um, most. No, it's not. It's my um, car 98. Sniper with 2,515 damage. It is insane. These are all just three modding it at the workbench. You can update them all. Uh, and somewhere there is. Uh, let's find it. Do 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 do. Got to find it now. My most and the gun, which is 300, uh, 439 damage, which has got a really nice scope. Which is that one. It's got a really nice see-through scope on it. That's rock steady, and this is great for getting headshots on zombies when they're a bit of a distance away. If you use the scope on the Grand, it's a really nice scope, but it does tend to wobble a lot like this, so getting headshots, and it's quite hard to see the actual crosshairs, so I find this is much nicer. Um, there's drawbacks to all of them. This one you can fire fast, and it's fast reload, however, uh, it aiming, it takes time. With the Mosin Nagant, 
you can't fire fast, you get very accurate, it's got a fantastic sound, but reload takes forever, because even if you fire two shots, you have to reload five. Uh, what are you saying, Chris? I'm not getting a picture, but probably doing being on mobile data. Oh, yeah, might be. Okay, Chris, yeah, don't use up all your mobile data. It's a 1080p stream, so you'll just be... Yeah, don't use that. But thank you for popping in anyway. Uh, it might be HTML5. Your phone might not support it, so... Yeah. Where was I? My sniper has got another great sound. It's got a nice scope on it. Rock steady, and it sounds nice. <laughs> It's got super fast reload. Yeah, that's not humanly possible. So let's go and do some stuff anyway. Uh, I might not. I know I've just done like how long have I done? Like 20 minutes of talking. But that's just giving introductions. Uh, doo -doo -doo. TK, you're the only person watching right now. I do salute you. I know you're probably doing something else, like building a pirate ship. But that's fine. Uh, but I suppose I better talk because my playstyle is very. There's gonna be mutants in here, aren't there? Mm. At least there's super mutant furniture. Uh, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. I can't remember now. Yes. Yeah, so apologies. The treehouse stream was cancelled for this evening. Uh, Chris has broken his broadband. Ted's PC has died. I've had a leaky, I've had a, not a burst pipe, but I've got a leak somewhere. We've had plumbers out for the last few days, and we have more plumbers out. So it's just ass, basically. Everything's gone horribly wrong. There's no way down there, is there? Um, so, and Adam, Adam was free, but had a Christmas party to go to. So, it wasn't really made, wasn't conducive for a good live stream, so never mind. That's my jetpack, by the way. As you can see as well, I've also got loads of weight. TK's models, what gave that away? What, that there's only one? Oh, that you're doing a boat or that you're doing something else? Because <laughs> watching me play Fallout is not that interesting. <laughs> Plus, I'm mostly talking, so you can listen to me waffle anyway. Uh, where are we going? Now, the thing with mods is... There's lots of little cheaty mods, so you could just make the game give yourself infinite health and all that kind of stuff, and it make the game super easy, and you could just run around like a complete madman. But you know what? I'm not interested in that, because that just makes it boring. So I've got it set up now, so that I've got like... What have I got? Let's have a look. Uh, I'm level 125, I've got 1187 health, but there's nothing adding to my health. That's purely what I've got through the game, as far as I know. I've not got insane armor values. I've only got, like, you know, two or three hundred armor or something like that. Uh, what else have I got? I'm trying to think. I've got a color map. That's quite nice. The color map is quite nice. The only thing I wish is there was some way of better demarking on your compass which, ones you, which locations you've found and which ones you haven't. <clears throat> but I do have, uh, let's have a look, I have got um, 2,147,483,904 carry weight, <laughs> which is a bit unrealistic, but that's just more, that's just more convenience than anything else, it's not, it's not really making the game easier. So, I do still have to be quite stealthy, I've not boosted my stealth or anything like that. I've not got any unfair advantages other than, you know, my stealth is really high, but that's just what I brought it up to over through the game, so. I didn't want to make the game too easy because it, that would just make it not worth playing. So, yeah. I mean, I love the game. But compared to Fallout 3, Fallout 3 was no angel. Fallout 3 had, like, no first person aiming and looked rough and ready. Not gonna deny that. Oops. But Fallout 3 had more character and much more to do. I've just done this bit, haven't I? Have I? No. That's where I came in. Okay, that's weird. Uh, oh, Paul's in. Hey, Paul. T 
TK says, gives me something to watch while the glue dries on the fiddly rigging. TK's making his, uh, his little pirate ship. Avast behind! Arr. And it looks rather sweet. Hey, Paul, someone says, Paul says, push him off. Someone push him off. Yeah, I can push myself off. I have to. I'm only playing with myself. Who, uh... For those that don't know, uh, if you're watching, you won't see the chat, but Paul's in. Paul, as uh, back at 09, he's in. He's one of the... Chris and Paul are the other guys of Team Inept. We are trying to sort out getting together to do some Destiny 2. But I'll tell you, Destiny 2, it's not... It's not... It's not pulling me back to it. Hashtag Team Inept, says Paul. It's not pulling me back to it at all, Destiny 2. It's just not... I don't... I don't know why. I'd much rather sit here and play Fallout 4 or Skyrim or something. But we will. Uh, Chris and Paul very kindly gifted me the DLC, so... Uh, I need to play it. Right, we're in town. So, let's see what quests I've got. Uh, this is the one I can't finish, and I'll try it again in a minute. I've got to talk to Hancock, haven't I? This one, the Warwick Homestead. I kill all the super mutants. And the guy doesn't give me the speech option to complete it. And because I haven't completed it, I can't complete one's other homesteads either. So that's why I turned off they only have one Radiant Quest at a time, in case that was bugging it. Uh, Paul says, is that because you're a bit rubbish at it? No, I'm, I'm not rubbish at Destiny. I'm just not rubbish at falling off edges when people are pushing me off them. I will go back and play it. It's just... Since we can't... With Destiny, since we can't pick any strike we want, it's kind of not fun anymore. Right, so uh, let's go and talk to Hancock, because I've just finished the Big Dig quest. I've done all these quests. If you've never played Fallout, these are all the quests I've done. Yeah, there's quite a lot of quests in this game. There's a significant amount of quests. I don't even think I've got all of them. But those are all the ones I've done. Finish the story. Actually, that is a lot of quests. Holy shit, that's a lot of quests. I never thought of that before. <sighs> Paul says, we'll eventually be great at the inverted spire, though. Yeah, my big problem with Destiny 2 is that there's no way to go and manually choose a, a strike. Paul, Chris, and I used to go and play strikes for fun, and that's what we'd stream. However, now you just go into a playlist and it pulls one at random, and the number of times we've done it and we've played the same strike twice, or played one or two strikes over and over, it's if we've like you know we've got the new DLC now. How do we just play the strike? Can we do that, or do we have to go and we joke that we we do a stream and say right we're going to play the new strike and then we just play the ins inverted spire like three times? So not great. I'm doing a lot of talking and not enough playing. Where am I going? Going that way. Right, I'm in the town now. So what I like to do. I don't know why I like this. I just love this. Let's put the rain on. It just makes it much more atmospheric. I just love it. The sound, the thunder. It's probably annoying for you guys to watch with the constant rain sound, but I love it. There's also some really nice, like, ambient sounds in the background. Paul says, you like rain because Manchester. Well, yeah, there's some zombies. Let's see if we can get these guys out. Headshots only. No. Oh, yeah, got him. Oh, hello. I much prefer these for ghouls. Because ghouls do head in this game. They run. Missed. I got really sick of ghouls in this game. Because they run. And they leap. And there's like, they leap at you. And it's like, ugh, oh, ghouls again. So when I found there was a mob that changes them into shambling zombies, I'm like, yes. That's awesome. Paul says, better than the snow sound that is outside. I like snow. We got about, I don't know, a particle of snow. If for those who don't know, who's watching in the UK at the minute, there's all kind of snow and storms and stuff. Oh, there's a bug with the rain, apparently. It doesn't work in every direction. Also, why is the rain stopping? God damn it. Wrong one. Wrong one. Hang on. Yeah, there is a bug with the uh, with the true storms, and apparently it's not a bug with the mod; it's a bug with the actual game. 
that rain doesn't display in any direction. So, hey. Also, I am below that. That's probably why it's not raining. In fact, that is why I'm getting no rain. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so okay, there's all this snow and stuff in the UK at the minute. Except here in Manchester, we've got like a millimetre of snow. And then within half an hour, it just melted away, so... Gunfire. Put it further away. Hello. He's a big boy. Something's around here. There is. Headshot, need headshot. Yes. Oh, we've got a ricochet as well. Aha, nice one. I've got the ricochet perk so that every now and then a bullet they fire will fire back at them. A few more super muties somewhere. Yep, okay. Paul says we got a good inch and a bit. Wasn't expecting any at all here, so yay. But Paul lives down south, he's a, he's a nonsense southerner. Yeah, we've got like about... We've got like about a millimetre. And it, I went upstairs and had a cup of coffee and came back downstairs again. It all gone. So I'm like, okay, that'll be it then. So we didn't get a lot. What's that? I need to kill that. Didn't die. Now it's died. Yeah, the, uh, this Mosey in the Gant is great for, like, taking out zombies and stuff like that. The headshots, because it's quite accurate. But because of the reload time, you only get five shots in the round, in the magazine. You've got to be tactical. Same with the Garand, you can't just steam in. Yeah, you've got eight shots, but... You want to try and place your shots. So it just makes the game, for me... It makes the game a thousand times more interesting, because I can't just run around madly which comes out really boring when you play this game. I actually have to take my time being creepy and stealthy. Capital Ryan, hey Capital Ryan, you're using World War II guns. Well, uh, yeah, I've got my M1 Garand, which is the best rifle in the world ever made. Two reasons. One, it's the best rifle ever made. And two, that. You can't not like the ping I actually found all the weapons in this game to be thoroughly boring. It didn't interest me at all. Apart from like the Fat Man. If you've not played Fallout 4, the Fat Man is a, is a grenade launcher. But you have to reload, obviously. Yes! Yeah! Yeah, that fat man. Wow, I don't even know where that landed. Never mind. Capital Ryan says, I like the sound when you reload it. Apparently, apparently, the little bell it does, I'll do it again so you can hear it. The little bell it does is actually the bell from a microwave at Bethesda Studios. Although it's quite quiet in this game, I'll try and do it further away so you can. It's a little ding at the end, apparently it's a microwave at Bethesda Studios. My rain's not lasting long enough. again. I'll show you some of the mod settings as well in case people want to know. Um, oh, you mean the M1 Garand? Oh, sorry, Capital Ryan says he likes the sound it makes when you reload it, the M1 Garand. Yeah, it's a really nice. Whoever's made this weapon has made some really nice 
sounds for it. The only thing I don't like is the actual shoot sound. Because it's a bit... Hello, I can see dudes. It's a bit lifeless. Yeah, come on, headshot. Headshot. Yes. Yes. To me, an M1 Garand, the best M1 Garand sound was in Fallout Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor for life. Damn it. Damn it. Oh shit. <laughs> really? I killed him? That was a bit rubbish. You're a crap super weird. Yes, yeah, so I was going to show you the zombies mod. You've got a load of settings on it. It's quite cool. Uh, it just turns all the ghouls into zombies. Uh, they can infect you. They can kill you and you can come back as a zombie. Uh, you can change how often they spawn. So I can... Uh, I think the limit for each cell is 25 zombies. There's a 5% chance I'll get some extras. Uh, you can make them attack settlements, interrupt people in sleep. You can get them to replace NPCs. For the zombies themselves, I've got them sat at... They only do a quarter of the normal damage, because I, I can't be bothered. Um, the headshots only. I've set them to headshots only, so I can only kill them if I get a headshot. I can cripple them and take all the health down to zero, but if their head's still intact, they won't die. And you can set how many. If you set the whole behaviour to, like, 50 zombies, you just get these massive roaming bands of them. It's quite cool. Uh, Capital Rises. I never played Fallout 4 with mods. What are you playing on? Are you on Xbox, PlayStation, or PC? Before you before you joined us, I was explaining that if you played Fallout 4 and found it a little lacking or boring, get mods. Mods just change everything. Even just changing to this Garand gun changed the entire way I play the game. Where the hell is this place? I can never find it. It changed entirely how I play the game. You know, from simple things like being able to change the weather, to stuff like this weapon having to be more careful with it and aiming, rather than just spraying bullets. It changed absolutely everything. So now I can creep around and take my time and work my way through buildings. Okay, see you in a bit, TK. Yeah, so even just changing to one different weapon just made my life so much more fun. work taking care of McDonough over in Diamond City. Could be they start landing ghouls again. Wait, wait, wait. So let me get this straight. There was an old Chinese submarine in the harbor? Jeez, now I heard everything. Hancock. Well, if it ain't Bobby's little patsy. Here for protecting my stash. Why is decision turning on Bobby like that? So, we're okay? We are. <sighs> Let me tell you, this classy little tri-corner hat of mine is getting heavy. Am I turning into the man? Some kind of tyrant? I spend all my time putting down the people I would have been proud to scheme with just a few years ago. I need to take a walk again. Get a grip on what really matters. Living free. Can you just leave, good neighbor? Aren't you the mayor? Hey, the mayor's still the mayor whether he's in residence or not. I've walked out of here plenty of times. Keeps me honest. Can't let power get to my head. That's not what being in charge of good neighbor is about. If you're heading out, why not come with me? Yeah, I like it. You might just be the right kind of trouble. 
Let me just have a little chat with my community first, give them the news. Hey, everybody, gather up. I got something you all need to hear. No rush. Everyone just take your time. Look, everyone... ...fearless leader to get back out there. Mix it up in the dirt before I forget what that feels like. You can't leave, Hancock. We need you. Hey. I'm always gonna be here in spirit, my man. Good neighbor and I, we got a connection. But like any hot and heavy relationship, sometimes you gotta spend time apart. Let things cool off. Remind yourself of who you are. So that's why I'm leaving. I'm still your mayor. I'm still gonna be here when you need me. But it's time for me to stop living so damn comfortable. Because we all know, no one in power deserves to be comfortable for long. Now, what's the best town in the Commonwealth? Where can someone live free with no judgment? Good neighbor! Good neighbor. Of, of the, the people! people. Oh, for the people. the people! And don't let no one forget it. Hey, Hancock. So, you ready to get this show on the road? Let's do it. Done. Hey. Got my attention. Talk to me. It's time we part ways. Works for me. I'll head on home. Fred Allen at the Hotel Rexford. He can hook you up with Gems. Irma at the Memory Den. She offers a whole other class of drug. You been to Diamond City? Good noodles. Bunch of assholes, though. So you got a, a ride of choice? I'm usually a
there's anything I can do to lighten the load, or, you know... You know what? You need me to you to dance? I'm Anything I can do? You just say the word. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sorry, my microphone was turned off because I had to clear my throat. Right, I'm, I'm back. So, welcome to Sanctuary. I was just saying I have a bit of a hoarding problem. Uh, throwback from Fallout 3. I still hoard they teddy bears. Yeah. Some of these teddy bears are like 100 teddy bears form. in one. So, there's about three, four hundred teddy bears in there. I collect old money, uh, and I think there's probably about a million dollars in there. Again, it's like a pile of money that's actually thousands of monies. I did have them in my house, but they kind of got full, so I had to bring them outside. Uh, and I also have this thing of collecting pool balls. And if you're wondering what these are for, this is because every time I put a pool ball on the table, it would roll off down here and disappear down the road, so I put this little trap there. I think I've got some pool balls to deposit. But this is this is why I have frame rate issues <laughs> in Sanctuary, because I just there's so much crap everywhere. Uh, let's have a look what balls have we got. Balls! Do -do -do. In fact, no, I won't do that now, because it'll take me forever. I'll go and Go and do something. Store all my junk. <sighs> and this mod is great because I can sell every... I don't have to bother about uh, vendors anymore. I can just sell everything here. Get rid of that. Eight of those. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And that. Welcome to the not very exciting stream at the moment. Because I'm just selling stuff. <laughs> Get rid of mines, I never use them. Do -do -do. For those just joining, this is just a test stream for me. I'm just testing out Mixer. I used to use Twitch, but to be honest, Twitch wasn't great. Uh, get rid of that. I'm liking so far that there's no real lag or really tiny lag between what I do and when you see it. I'm also liking that I can see the chat on my TV screen. I don't have to have the computer on next to me to see what you guys are saying. Okay, so that's all my normal weapons. What else have we got? Apparel, that's got a load of stuff in here we can get rid of. Uh, Chris, Paul says, are we allowed to do a swears? If you want to. Yeah, absolutely in chat, because that doesn't affect um, my monetization. <laughs> yeah, I won't read your reply. I've learned what I can do is you guys can swear as much as you want in the chat. I probably won't swear in the actual stream because it affects how much I can get when I put this on YouTube. So, I mean, I will when we do, when Paul, when we do, uh, like, you know, hashtag team in ep streams, I'm sure they'll be swearing. Where it's just me playing, I think I'll just... I think I'll just uh, keep it clean. I need the money. What can I say? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Mental note, don't get rid of the hazmat suit. Every time I do this, I always forget and get rid of the hazmat suit. There's already one thing I've got rid of that I didn't want to get rid of. Wow, yeah. I'm carrying quite a lot. I shouldn't have done this. This is really boring for you guys, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. 
Uh, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, hang on. As you can tell, I've been wandering around for quite a while. Duh. Duh. Are we there yet? I need to get my, uh... I thought I got rid of my depth of field ring. I must have sold it to somebody else. Never mind. Doesn't matter. I'll just sell them in. I don't want to keep do, sit and do this all day. 17,828 caps. I think we'll sell those. Thank you very much. Most kind. Stu Backer says, Might want to mute me in Destiny then. Better than getting pissed is picking a fight. Am I right? Great. So you've just killed my monetization. Enough Thanks, Kate. Slog. Just point us to the nearest watering hole. There's... So, I... Damn it. So I can't swear, but Kate's going to swear like a trooper. Fantastic. What's going on? Uh, right, what should we do? What should we do? Let's have a look. Where should we wander to? Uh, yeah, when it's Destiny Streams, Paul, I think we'll just... We'll be doing swearing anyway, because I'll have to... Uh, <laughs> Paul says, good girl, Kate! I'm trying not to swear at you. like, let's go get pissed. <sighs> yeah, thanks. I don't think there's anywhere left for me to discover, really. Uh, let's just pick a random place and we'll go there and see what we can find. Uh, I shall pick randomly. Uh, Starlight Dragon, oh, there you go. Right? <laughs> go to White Run. <laughs> Full Srota! Yeah. So yes, we can, we'll, we'll probably still swear on the, te on the Destiny live streams because you'll be pushing me off edges and I'll be calling you all kinds of names. That will be kind of required, I think. Uh, one of my least interesting settlements that I gave up on and didn't bother. I kind of walled this bit off so people didn't spawn near the super radioactive stuff. And they do. The oh, not do you know? much, but it's something. I don't know. You just can't help people sometimes, can you? Let's have an explore. Yeah, I always have the same technique when I do a settlement. I build a wall around it, and then I just go crazy. That's how I do it. That's how I do my shizzle. So I've got quite a few settlements now. Let's have a look. I've got that many settlements. All linked together. I've got more, but I haven't linked them all together, because nobody's moved in yet. And bizarrely, building settlements on this, the first time you do it, you're like, eh, whatever. But then... After a while, you kind of get to enjoy it. I don't really manage them. I don't worry if people are leaving and getting unhappy. I don't really care. I just leave them to it. I hate these things. <laughs> However, where there's one... There's always another. Maybe not. The third person aiming mod that I have is quite good. If I pull the trigger, I just zoom in. If I double tap the trigger, I go to first person aim. It's quite good because when I'm out and about in that in the in the wasteland, I like to go in third person. What's going on over here? I'm gonna make a guess and say it's zombies. Let's go find out, shall we? Some shizzle going down, man. Or is it just not stopped going down? And yes, I do creep everywhere because I like to get myself up. Right, who's shooting at what? Right, what are we shooting at? Whatever it was is dead. Oh well. Brilliant timing. Normally when I play this, I'm always like, there's just zombies everywhere. But right now I can't find any. Also, you see a lot of trading caravans and like supply guys because I've got all the settlements linked. So it's constantly there's people running around doing the trading stuff. 
Nope, don't want that. Let's see what these guys are doing. Ha! It's on the lines. That was rubbish. It's actually quite hard to get the headshots in. It's not as easy as you think. Because I've got the zombies set to headshots only. So that they won't die even if the health is at zero. Unless I get a headshot. And it just makes it more interesting because I can take my time. That's why I've got like 600, uh, 580 odd hours in this game. So, this is just, I say, it's just a test stream. I'm just pootling about, so don't expect any amazing shenanigans and things going on here. It's just me wandering about, seeing what's what. Testing things out. Aha! Hello. I do love the sound of this most in the gant. Yes. It's actually quite tricky. Because they wiggle their heads around. They're wiggling their heads around too much. Is everything green? Where's he? Uh, I am... I've got loads and loads of mods going on. So I've got a green wasteland mod. Which just puts loads of sort of greenery in there. It just makes the, the landscape more... I know it's not canon. It just makes it more interesting to look at. Uh, there are a few green mods. This is on Xbox. There are a few green mods for Xbox. However, um, I'm playing on Xbox One X. Yeah, it, it does look very... It says it looks very pretty, says HDG Zeus. Hi, Zeus. Um, yeah, it, I'm playing on Xbox One X and with mods going, it, it just looks fantastic. It performs really well, but... And I'll, I'll load the mods again so you can see. Because you missed it at the start. Uh, let's have a look. One of the gr some of the green mods actually put so much pressure on the system that it just becomes really frame rate choppy. Hello, that's not right. Come on, I'm already logged in. There we go. So I've saturated. Um, I found this one, this green mod is the lowest impact mod. Um, there's another one, and I can't remember what it's called. It's Green Wasteland or something, but it, it supposedly just recolors all the plant life, but it adds loads of flowers everywhere, and it just the frame rate just tanks. So, yeah. I find the another green mod one is quite performance friendly. There's loads. I've got loads of mods installed on here. TK says, with low latency turned off, I get a green screen too. I don't know what that means. Is that a, is that a mixer thing? I think uh, Zeus, TK, I think Zeus is referring to the fact there's bushes and greenery and trees everywhere, which is not a normal part of this game. The hell is that? Stop moving, son. There we go. Yes, he's referring to all the greenery and plant life, which is not part of the game normally. <laughs> I can hear a vertibird. There. This is where my sniper rifle's awesome. Watch this. Oh, it didn't work. One shot kill a vertibird. How cool is that? Oh, don't crash on me. No, 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 no. That's not awesome. No. Oh.
Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. You weren't supposed to crash on me. <sighs> Darn it. <laughs> it's supposed to kill vertibirds with one bullet, not pull them towards me like they've been gravity well. <laughs> that didn't go well. Do you know? Can't get the staff. Right, there's a zombie somewhere. The thing about zombies is they're really hard to actually see when you're out and about in the wilds. Ah, there he is. Give you some good grand action. Catch <laughs> you on that. Ah! Pwned. Yeah, I can drop a vertibird in one shot, but I can't jump over a small wire fence. Only I could shoot a vertibird down and have it fall towards me. Idiot. Sigh. What have we got going on here? I've also got the Ambient Wasteland mod, which gives loads of, sort of background sound. The coyotes you can hear in the background are part of that mod. And most of them sound fantastic, but there is one, this owl hoot. And it just sounds like somebody going, woo, woo, down the microphone. And it's not a real owl hoot, and it just kills it completely. It just destroys the immersion. But the rest of it, like water sounds and stuff, is just really nice. Anything here to shoot? No. You need to find somewhere more interesting for, to wander around, don't I? Let's find somewhere interesting. Uh, let's go here. Let's not go there. Let's go... Somewhere. Where should we go? Let's go to Spectacle Island. Not everybody knows about Spectacle Island. It's actually, it's actually a settlement. It's a completely settlement. You can just build up on it, and it's just this island. And for some reason, it always spawns me on the roof, which is a bit pants. Do do Spectacle Island. It's where I am spawning a thousand feet up on the roof. God damn it! Do 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 do. <laughs> Don't want noisy weather. It's, it's, uh, where's new weather? Put the weather on clear, just for the moment. Yes. There's a whole island, there's tons of stuff on here. You just build a settlement. And of course with settlements I like to let get a little bit crazy, so... If I remember rightly. I've not been here for a while. That's the gate. There should be. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I built like a 3,000 foot tower here. Where's it gone? Oh, oh there it is. It's not really 3,000 feet. <laughs> That's my house up there. I just got bored and built a tower. Oh, hello. That's his nice rush dig. There you go. <sighs> yeah, so I built this funky tower just because I could. Oh yeah, infinite jetpack by the way as well for the win. Ah, oh, that didn't work. It's not very controllable, this infinite jetpack. I built myself a nice little house, you see? Very nice. Very swish, did my own barbecues. Not exactly weatherproof. Not really.
Now I've made a mistake because I'm going to have to use the stairs and it's going to get everybody dizzy. Anybody feeling a bit sick yet? So yeah, Spectacle Island. Nobody knows about Spectacle Island. You have to do a little tap. Uh, but that's that anyway. Let's have a look. Where can we go? Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Mm. Don't know where to go. Just pick somewhere. Just pick somewhere in Boston. Everybody likes Boston. The Walking Dead meet Fallout 4 said, Fromage Hiver. Winter cheese, 471. Fromage Hiver. Cheese winter. Hello. Thank you for joining. Yeah. It, it does just make everything a lot more interesting. Let's just go here. I don't know where that is. Just turning them into zombies just makes it more interesting. Combined with my weapons that I have to take care and aim with. It's just mods have made this game go from boring as hell to actually I could quite happily sit and spend eight hours a day just wandering around exploring. Unfortunately I've kind of discovered everything now so yeah is young Carl is young Carl hey Carl I like the name Fromage Hiver 471 if it was actually French Rickson hi hi Rickson hey <laughs> Oh, hello. Don't like these guys. Really can't be doing with those things. Thing about me is, I'm not, I'm not scared of spiders. I just don't like them. But the one thing I really can't stand are daddy long legs. Or in the US, or well, crane flies. In the US, daddy long legs are like spiders. But in the UK, daddy long legs are crane flies. I can't stand crane flies or daddy long legs. If there is one in the room, I will leave the room very quickly. I will just... You won't see me leave a room because of a spider. I'll just go and catch it. But you will see me leave a room if there's a crane fly in there. I'll just run. Uh, from Argivet says, Tu parles français un petit peu. Juste un petit peu. My French is very, very rusty and very, very old. <laughs> so not that well. Uh, right, let's have some daytime. So you guys can see. I've lost it. Where's my mod? What time is it? It is 12.06 a.m. So. Paul says, from Argiver, winter cheese. Yeah, I kind of made that joke about 10 minutes ago, Paul. Well done. <laughs> Bless. Uh, what time did I say? Well, I forgot what time it was now. Paul. It's 12.06 a.m. So, I've seen a lot of people confused by this mod. It's called the Wait Anywhere mod on Xbox. I assume on PS4 as well. If you want to use this mod and you don't want to find a chair, uh, it doesn't tell you how to do it properly. So, here's how you do it properly. If you want to wait so many hours, work out what time it is. It's midnight. Reset it. If I want to wait six, say, eight hours, there's no option for eight hours, so you have to do one hour. Two hours, three hours, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then confirm. That's how you do that mod. It doesn't tell you how that anywhere on the mod description or anywhere else. So I thought I'd show you that if you do use that mod. It's a really handy mod. It means you can wait anywhere. And it given the name. Right, so let's have a wander about. trees are kind of freaking out let's let's change the weather mods just make this game so much better Paul says I was on the telephone you cheeky beardy git it's no excuse okay let's see what's what where we are I'm not sure where we are we'll find out Where's all the... I keep living in hope I'll see and not discover this location icon on my uh, compass, but it's been a while since I've had that, unfortunately. Killer Game with 1013 I followed. Thank you for following. Thank you very much. Uh, don't get disheartened by this not being a very exciting stream, if you've never watched before. I'm just testing out Mixer. 
So yeah, this stream itself personally isn't very exciting. But there's plenty more things I do, so no idea where I am now. But this won't be a very exciting one because I am just testing Mixer, but also I don't play Fallout in a very exciting way. Which way do I want to go now? Hang on. I play it in a very slow way. I want to go this way. We can check out the hospital. Let's have a look at the hospital. I play in a very slow manner. I like to take my time. Wow, something died that I had nothing to do with and I got XP for it. Brilliant. There's something around here detecting me, but I don't know what it is. Cambridge Diner. Let's see what's in here. I hate the classical music in this game. Not because I hate classical music, but all the classical music they've got on the jukeboxes is terrible. So I always have to turn it off. I don't know if there's anybody in here if it's just a... If it's just a... Something added as a mod. Okay, it's not a real location, so... Nothing too exciting here. Stuff to pick up. Do -do -do. Ah, loot. This is what Fallout is all about. Junk. Nothing in here. Raid this. Yeah, I was a bit gutted because I, I couldn't finish the uh, the Greenskins quest. Which meant there's a few settlements where I've done the little, you know, kill the bad guys that are hassling our settlement. But I can't then make it a settlement I can work on because it's just, it's balked. And it could be that one of the mods I had was glitching it. Or it could just be the game's balked. And because I can't finish that one Greenskins quest, like, the, I, can't, I can't make the slog into a settlement or anything like that. So, it's kind of annoying. Oh, hello. Don't want that. Not having uh, rad storms. Thank you very much. I'll put pay to that. Thank you. Right, let's see what's going down. Mm -hmm. I seem to keep choosing like the most boring places you can imagine with nothing actually happening. I can hear raiders though. Hello. I'm also getting rads from somewhere. Oh, I'm near the Cambridge. Now oh, I know why I'm. I know where I am. Tell you what, let's let's not do that because that's right near there, which is a bad thing. I'm not going to give any spoilers in case you've not played it. So, but this is this is a bad area for radiation for a reason. For the reasons, I'll just leave it at that. Let's just go here. Wherever that may be. Oh, I can't. There's enemies nearby. God damn it. Okay, let's get out of there. Right now, can I fast travel? Do -do -do, do -do -do. Let's find somewhere there might be stuff to do. Uh. Just go. Let's just go there. Dee -dee -dee. Yes, this is just a test stream. Ha! I've just had a notification from YouTube. Sorry, that was loud. Notification from YouTube. The last um, <laughs> the last video I put up. There was the the last unicorn Gundam build video. It did that thing where it only gives you half monetization and said, Oh, your video is not suitable for all viewers. So I clicked the little thing that said, um, Can you review this manually, please? And it said, Yeah, we'll do that when we've got a thousand views. 
so it got a thousand views, like I think in the last day or so. And they sent me a thing saying, Your video is suitable for all advertisers. Haha. -ha. I'm like, Yeah, I thought it was. Because there's no swearing in it. There's no adult content. Although I did say boobies at one point. There's no adult content. So I'm like, Yeah, thank you very much. And your video gets that not suitable for all advertisers. And you only get like some monetization. It does give the option to dispute it manually. It's not like when you dispute a copyright claim, you just click the thing and they go, "Okay, we'll we'll check that out." And then they do, and then happiness. Zombies. That's one. Bring me a head. Head. Don't turn around, you cheeky. Stop moving. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah, you zigged when you should have zagged. Ha! I'll learn you. Well, hello. I can hear it. You can shut up. Thank you. Yeah, this most in the gun isn't great for close-up work. Because of the slow reload. It's got a great reload animation there. But if you're a distance away from everybody, it's quite a good weapon for medium range sniping. Hello, you're not animating very well, are you? Must be icy over there. Wow. <laughs> oh, Bethesda. You gonna bring him back? Do I have to go over there to him? Come on. That truck didn't kill him, damn it. Well, they might be stuck on the floor now. I've got these zombies set to headshots only, so Let's see if I can headshot him from here. Nope, 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 yes. Ha -ha. Uh, HDG Zeus says, may I see the green mod again? What other visual mods do you have? Sure. Let me pop the mod list up. And I'll go through them again. I went through them at the start, but I'll go through them again. It's not a problem. Now, as I say, this is on Xbox. So these mods are for Xbox One and Xbox One X. Sorry, I'm playing on Xbox One X. Uh, I'm assuming they're very similar for PlayStation. I don't know. Uh, I'll go through them really quickly and I've got True Storms Wasteland Edition which is just the thing I'm using to control the weather it's got you can choose between all the built-in weathers and it's got a load of like custom made weathers which are absolutely fantastic the rain and storm one I'll show you in a minute again is brilliant uh, the green one I'm using is another green mod desaturated I'll give you time to write if you want to write these down probably easier isn't it uh, this stream will be archived on YouTube as well if you want to come back to it later and currently we are at 74 minutes. If you write down 74 minutes and wait till it's on YouTube. Uh, another green mod desaturated. I found this one to be really tolerant of the frame rate. It doesn't really kill the frame rate at all. The other ones on Xbox on the mods list, they do kind of kill your frame rate in some places. Especially where there's lots of transparencies and grass and stuff. It just kills the frame rate. But this one, thankfully, doesn't. Uh, I've got a Boston FPF fix, which helps the frame rate in Boston. When you go to downtown Boston, it can get, even on the vanilla game with no mods, it can get choppy and horrible. That helps fix it. Uh, I've got less fog in Far Harbour. Uh, third person aim down sights, that's where I can be in third person, but do either a zoom or a, a scoped look. Uh, I've got Terrible's Pip Boys. Not not brilliant, this one doesn't really do much, it just gives you a pip. One health. Uh, infinite ammo for companions kind of explains itself ambient wasteland is the sound mod I've got uh, and that has just background bird calls wind background ambient noises things like that uh, there is one sound in the weather mods that I really like which is like uh, when it's raining there's like a kind of sound which sounds like if you're in a rainstorm outdoors in real life and a car drives off it's like that but for some reason it just works really well uh, realistic headshots just means a headshot is a one-shot kill, which is brilliant on most things. One to three headshots, it says. Uh, 
Uh, Dr. Mobius's infinite stash, I didn't show you that. That's basically, you get a cellar under the house in Sanctuary, and you can spawn anything, any item in the world. Uh, I've got a depth of field one, which is quite nice, Dave's simple depth of field. Turret Opera, just makes all the turrets have the, the lines from Portal, for the turrets in there, so that's brilliant. Uh, one minute Men Radiant quest at a time, means you literally get one quest from Preston or from Radio Freedom. You don't get three at a time. Uh, gunsmoke. Gunsmoke is a brilliant one. It just adds a puff of gunsmoke from the end of your gun when you fire. And it makes it interesting indoors because suddenly you fire a load of shots and you can't see anything because there's gunsmoke everywhere. But it just makes it brilliant. Plus you can also see enemies because they have gunsmoke as well. M1 Garand is my Garand rifle. I absolutely adore this. It's changed the way I play the game. Uh, Paul says, off to spray some paint. Don't miss me too much. We won't. <laughs> Cheers, Paul. Take care, matey. Go spray some things. Uh, auto sell everything is just that box in the uh, sanctuary there where I can sell things. Invisible jetpack. Infinite jetpack. Speaks to itself. Uh, really unlimited carry weight. Means I can carry, I think it's 214,000 million units of weight. It's quite good. Wait anyway, you saw me do that. Hollow time. Changes the length of time of a day. Uh, you can change it from anything from um, uh, one hour of real time can equal one hour of, of game time. So you could have a literally a proper 24 hour day. However, some of the settings are quite buggy and he marks that when you use the mod. Uh, I found that eight hours. So one hour in real time marks eight hours in the game. Uh, it means a day lasts about an hour and a half, two hours. Just makes life easier. Because I hate the fact it's daylight then dark and it goes really quick. I'd rather have real time. Uh, time in my games just means I can spend all day during the daylight realistic sound that's quite nice it adds um, reverberation to sound uh, and it also adds a little slider on the menu option so you can increase and decrease it also with the true storms you also get some sliders in the volume settings in the main menu to, to increase and decrease the thunder sound and rain sound uh, what else we got? We've got Crowded Commonwealth, Plenty of Exploration, and Expanding Boston, which are all things that add stuff to the world. Either little locations or piles of things, and just, just things to look at and interact with. Uh, Julia says, Fag, thank you very much. It's um, very mature of you. Uh, King Yuka puts all my keys in one place. Realistic Ragdoll Force means guys don't fly off across the network. Across the, across the network? Across the landscape. Uh, my Mosin Nagant is a brilliant rifle. That's the one where I have to um, do five shots and then reload really slowly. No, yes, that's right, yes. B-Town Interiors adds loads of interiors to some of the buildings around the map. The Mauser Family Rifle Pack, again, a great weapon set. Field of View Boost is fairly obvious. Uh, dot Crosshair just gets rid of that big, massive, horrible cross. Zombie walkers, that's the one that changes all the ghouls into zombies. Uh, if you give me one second, I'd apologise, I'm just going to... Uh... Sorry Julia, I'm now banning you. Bye bye. Yeah. There you go. My first ban on Mixer. Hey! <laughs> oh well, never mind, there's always one. And the colour map is just the colour map. What it also does... Uh, no, actually, yeah, colour map is just a 2K colour map on your pit boys. really nice. Um, that didn't work. The Fallout 4 FPS Overdrive didn't do anything for me. Uh, and the pit boy colour enabler just means my pit boy Everything on the pit boy screen is now in colour, but all the text is in white. The only downside to that is your pit boy looks like that, which is nice and clean. But when you go into a computer terminal, it's also just white text. So there you go. Yeah, yes, we had our first spam comment. Brilliant. The first troll comment. Already removed and banned. Goodbye. Yes. I'm actually quite, uh, quite tolerant of nonsense in the chat. I don't really care. I don't really mind. Hello. I see you. <laughs> Goodbye. But, um, yeah, obvious troll comment is obvious, so. 
If you're going to be in the chat, you can get up to quite a lot. I'm quite tolerant. But don't be a dick. Because all that happens is I just ban your ass. There you go, that's it really. Okay, right, what are we going to do? Let's go over there to the city and find things to do. Doo -doo. Zeus says, thanks, I'm going to download those mods later. Yeah, it's about, what did I say it was? About 74 minutes into the stream. So if you've forgotten already, which I'm sure you have, uh, unless you wrote them down, just wait till it pops up on YouTube. It's Model Making Guru on YouTube, strangely enough. Um, and just pause at 74 minutes and you'll see them all. For those of you watching, by the way, you don't know, I'm, I am all, I'm a model making guru on YouTube. I'm actually a model maker and a YouTube streamer. And this is just a little sideline doing the gaming. So if you want to do hello. That's weird. Is a magic bridge. Can I walk on it? No. Ah, oh, that's not right, is it? Look at these magic cars, they float. You want to buy magic car? Kajit has wares if you have coin. <gasps> Dude, there's some zombi zombalons over there. Yeah, it tells you, so if you played this game and found it any way lacking, mods just make it so much more fun. Even like I say, even if it's just this Garand mod, just download this mod on its own, the Garand. And it changes the way you play. So instead of just place and doing everything really quickly and suddenly found there's nothing else to do, even just this rifle makes you wander around and take your time. Right, there's a storm coming in, so let's make it a proper storm. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Going back to rain. I like my rain. Rain's brilliant. I'm from Manchester in the UK, so this is natural weather to me. This is my this is my home from home weather. Hello. Yes. Ah, oh, you moved. Little jack and ape. Damn it. Damn it. Oh no. Good shot. Damn it. <sighs> Damn it! Yes. You can see the gun smoke still floating there. What's one left? Come and see here, bitter. Vielen Danke. see what's going on. I like to have the rain going when I'm in town. I don't know why. It just makes it more more of an environment to enjoy. I don't know why. It just does. If you're wondering why I'm sneaking everywhere, it's because this Garand only got, has only got like 157 damage, so... If I sneak, I can get the uh, the criticals. Get busy with the criticals. Hello. I see you. I see you. Yeah, so I don't know why I uh, enjoy playing with the rain and the storm on so much. I just do. I don't know why. It just floats my boat. Right. 
Who do we have here? Can't see anybody. No. I'm probably only getting the one-shot kills with these guys because I've got it set to realistic headshots. I'm probably just getting some very lucky headshots. Let's just be honest about this. There's probably not a lot of skill involved in my gameplay, I will be honest. One thing I'll, this game fails at, that Fallout 3 excelled at, is um, surround audio. If you play this on a surround system, Fallout 3, if there was something behind you or above you or below you or whatever, you could tell just by the sound. Oh, that one was really loud. You could tell just by the sound where something was. Like characters, like an NPC speaking, you'd know they're above you, behind you. In this game, not so much. The number of times I'd, I'll be on the floor. Frostfield, hey Frostfield, I'm fine, thank you. Oh, ah, missed. Bad shot. Yeah, the number of times I've been like in a building and I'll hear someone who sounds like they're right behind me, but they'll actually be upstairs, at a different side of the building. So, yeah, it's not not quite as awesome when it comes to uh, surround sound. Unfortunately, oh, the rain's stopping. There's that there's that owl sound that's really bad on the um, audio enhancement mod. My level is, uh, what's my level, says Frostfield. My level is 125. Let's get rid of that rad storm that's about to come in. Let's have another rainstorm. Rainstorms normally last about half... Let's see what's in this office building. Damn, I'm only 12, says Frostfield. I've got like 500 hours in this, so... <laughs> yeah, mm, yeah, just, just have patience. You'll get there. Oh, the True Storms thing as well. Also gives you rain sounds when you're indoors, which is really nice. Yeah, I got about... Oh, hello, there's a subtle hint. I got about uh, about seven or eight days of play without mods. Uh, Frostfield we got to I don't know, level twenty or some thirty, but got bored very quickly of the things in this game. So added a load of mods, and then the game became really fun. Mods make all the difference. So now I've got about well five hundred mod. 520 something hours I think with mods just because it's fun and then the rest is when I played it the first time without mods where else we can go before we go in the elevator no I guess it's the elevator we need the trick I find Frostfield is when you start playing the game do the first couple of story missions and this is what I did in Fallout 3. Do the first few story missions, and then just forget the story and just wander. 
wander around the world and have fun and adventure and pick up things as you go along. That's how you get into your hundreds of hours. So this game is not quite as good as Fallout 3 for that, but then there are things this game is much better. I mean, I've got about... Fallout 3, I would say there's about 2,000 hours I've put into that. Uh, Frostfield says, I have a question about Fallout 4. There is only the Commonwealth, or is the whole world bigger? Uh, the map is... that big. As you can see, I've gone down here. There's a little bit you can do down here. I won't give too much away, but the map's that big. It's... I think slightly bigger than Fallout 3, I think. Um, and there is also... Um, Far Harbour, which is um, an island. I'll go to it in a bit. It's an island again, which is not quite as big as this, but it's rather large. It's got quite a lot of settings on it. That's one of the DLCs. So it's quite a nice big map. I just don't think there's as much to do in it. Fallout 3 was full of so many little things. And little buildings and caves and things to do. Is that it? Is that an entire office building? That's nothing there. That's boring. Um, but a lot of the places in Fallout 4 are just like, there's not, there's not, there's nothing to do, there's nothing to pique your interest. Hello. What I think of you. Like in Fallout 3, there was just like... Every building you guarantee that there'd either be a story on the monitors to look at. Ass, ass. Or there'd be a story told by whatever was in the building or artifacts in the building, or there'd be actual quests to do. Um, don't want rad storms. Or, you know, like Fallout 3, you go into a random little sewer that's not even marked on the map. And there's a robot. There's a robot in there that wants to find, you know, Lincoln's wig and the Declaration of Independence. It's like a nice big long little quest you can do. Fallout 3. There's not really. It's not got the depth like that. Uh, Frostfield's much bigger. Yes. Um. When you turn up, I don't know actually. Skyrim feels bigger. Skyrim feels a bit bigger, but it's hard to tell. Again, it's not really so much the size, but what there is to do in it. If somebody could remake Fallout 3, but in the Fallout 4 engine, Disappearing <laughs> I'd be the happiest man in the world, because that is a great game. If they could get, you know, the fact it's not got the first-person sights is a real pain. It's hard to go back and play Fallout 3, to be honest. Because of things like that. Because of the jank. But... If somebody was to release... Fallout 3... Made in Fallout 4... Wow, this weather's changing every five minutes. What's going on? The weather doesn't normally change that often. Uh, uh, Fallout 3, Dad Great says, Fallout 3 is greater than New Vegas in my opinion. I did not like New Vegas at all. Coming straight from Fallout, because I played them as they came out, so going from Fallout 3, which was this nice big map full of a million things to do, and I spent you know, a thousand hours just wandering about before I'd even finished the main campaign. Going from that, to New Vegas where kind of most of the map was empty and there wasn't a lot to do it just, it, I don't know, it left me feeling empty, now I know a lot of people do actually think New Vegas was better than Fallout 3 and I like the crafting in it, that was really good and the story was, the story was a bit better 
I'll give it that, and I like the factions. But it's just the world was just kind of empty. Hello. Guess we'll be dealing with you now then. Oh, missed. Damn it. Damn it. There we go. I'm not a bad aim, it's just headshots only on the zombies, so. Yeah. So yeah, New Vegas, just the world of New Vegas didn't do me any favours at all. I just found it empty and lifeless. Like, you walk out of one settlement and there's this big open desert area. And you see like a handful of giant ants and that's it. And I was like, wow, there's just nothing here at all. Play through it. Ow. Missed. That was a bad shot. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was a lucky accidental throw of a grenade. Cool. Oh, you're up there. Ah. The Great says, did you know the Legion was based on Roman type of Jews? It was just based on the Roman Empire. Shot. Come here, come here. There you go, thank you. Oh, yeah, the Legion was just um, based on the Roman Empire. <coughs> um. Oh, hello. Ah, I see why you thought they were Roman Jews. Ah, because they said Oive. No, they said Arve. Oh, was it? I don't know. I could be wrong. Somebody's shooting at me still. So I'm trying to talk and not be shot at the same time. Um, One interesting thing. Uh, that I learned from Fallout New Vegas. As I reload. Uh, is that Kaiser is actually... Th if I remember rightly, Kaiser is actually the correct pronunciation of Caesar. We all say Caesar, Julius Caesar. Apparently it should be Julius Caesar, or Caesar, because it's the proper Latin pronunciation, which I think sounds much better. And you have to give him points for that. There's somebody around here, but I don't know where they are. Good shots, thank you very much. Lucky headshots, I like to call them. No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Yes, it will, because I will kill you, and you will be over. Oh, wrong floor. He fell over, though. Ha, <laughs> idiot. That's not a bad guy. That's a uh, settler. Okay. Ow. From where are these bullets coming? TK says, yes, C is equals K in Latin. Yes, Kaiser. Not a lot of people know that. So yeah, for New Vegas, I see why people thought it was better and enjoyed it more. It was a bit closer to the original Fallouts in spirit. But, I don't know, I think for what they wanted to do... The Fallout 3 uh, Gamebrio engine was just a bit stretched, beyond the limit. <coughs> the Gamebrio engine was a bit... Eh. It was great when it came out, but didn't take long for Fallout 3 to just date itself tremendously. Peach Marrow 2040 says hi. Hi, Peach Marrow. So I think, I don't know, Fallout 3 engaged me more than Fallout 4. Fallout 4 certainly, a lot of people rib on it. I don't think Fallout 4 is a bad game at all. I think it looks great. Uh, oh, Peach Marrow says, what level are you? Uh, I am... 
Somebody asked that a minute ago. I am uh, level 125. Fallout 3 has to get a, a remake with a new engine, though. Lol, one day. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If, if, if somebody was to remake Fallout 3 in this engine, it's, it's divine. So it had first-person aiming. It had less obvious dice rolls when you fire a weapon. and Because, let's be honest, subtle dice roll elements whereas Fallout 3 was really it's all dice rolls and I'm 73 says Peach Marrow hey well done who cares about their opinion lol says Dagrate awesome Peach Marrow watching your gaming streams at 73 you like me mum my mum my mum does that my mum's great she's got an Xbox One and she spends many, many hours every day playing Bejeweled. She loves it. She absolutely adores it. I can see a zombie miles away. No! Oh. Nope, oh, there's a thing there. Not bad. So yeah, if they remade Fallout 3 in this engine, I'd be like, wow. And again, it is a Bethesda game, and there's a reason Bethesda is known as Bugthesda. There's no such thing as a Bethesda game, open world game, that doesn't have either ridiculous or the occasional game-breaking bugs. I see you. Don't. It's... Fallout 3, it was kind of part of the charm. Oblivion, it was part of the charm. Skyrim, to a certain extent, it was part of the charm. You get to Fallout 4 and it's like, you kind of need to be not having such an old engine now. So they got this new engine. It looks good. I think it looks fine. Uh, this is on Xbox One X, so I'm playing in 4K. And yeah, it looks great. For the most part, apart from that bit just there, for the most part, frame rate's actually sorted out on X reasonably stable so no problems at all hello I hear you I hear a zombonom I don't see a zombon zombonom where are you where are you huh? we got trouble. no you don't I got bullets I've got badly aimed bullets. The great says they can be super buggy but still greater than the modern pay to win trash the industry puts out. Yeah. I used to be a hardcore first person shooter guy. My first ever console uh, was that I got for myself was an Xbox. Original, original, original Xbox, you know, the size of a house. With Halo, and I fell in love with Halo. For many years, I was a complete Halo nerd. Um, kind of grew out of it. And I was all about first-person shooters. And then, and then, for some reason, and I don't know why, one day, uh, Fallout 3 had been out for, I don't know, maybe a few months. And I must have read something about it somewhere and kind of stored that memory away and then forgotten all about it. I sat there and I thought to myself, I I'd started to get bored with first person games. I was like, yeah. I started to get bored with Halo, which for me is almost illegal. Um, and I'd gone off games because things like, you know, Gears of War and your Halo and you. I mean, every time Call of Duty was just like a trash fest. I fell for it every time. I thought, it's going to be a three-hour campaign and I'm going to get bored. Because I don't know interest in the multiplayer. And I fell for it every damn time, let's just be honest. Gone now. Um, and then I remembered Fallout 3, reading something about it. I hadn't really paid attention to it. And I thought, you know what, I'll go to the, I'll go to the shop. Because it had been out for a few months and it was like 20 quid. I was like, yeah, go on, I'll give it a go. So I picked it up for, for like, dirt. hello. Wow, all kinds of things going on here. What's happening? Yeah, is this target? So I went to the shop and I picked up Fallout 3. No idea what it was, no idea 
about f I've no no previous experience of Fallout. That's a bit painful. Um, no experience of Fallout or anything like that. I can hear a turret. I just can't see it. Yes, I've got no. Ex I don't see anything. No experience of Fallout okay. at all ever. Picked it up, put the game in, started to play it. <laughs> that was a bad throw. It was a bad throw. <laughs> was potentially also a bad shot. trying to hang out and talk to you guys and these people were shooting at me it's just huh. most impolite weird right what was I talking about oh, do you know um yes so anyway anyway playing games I, with me huh I started to play the fallout threes it's careless and it didn't take long for me because because when I started playing Fallout 3, it was only a few months old, so it was still, at the time, it wasn't like cutting-edge visuals, but it was on the Xbox 360, and it was quite impressive compared to its contemporaries. Oh, hello. Being a mutant, so I have to try and get a headshot. to get away from the suicide that oh I was lucky oh. <laughs> right what was talking about I've got no idea what we're talking about now right so yeah started playing Fallout 3 uh, and I was blown away by the look of it. it it wasn't the best graphics in the world but it was the setting and the environment and the ambience and I've just walked into the middle of a flipping firestorm in this place, haven't I? Just the worst possible place to actually start a proper conversation. <laughs> and I was smitten with it. And I rapidly, very quickly, spent s at least one and a half, two thousand hours in Fallout 3. Because it was like nothing I'd seen before, nothing I'd played before. I see you. It was like nothing I'd experienced. Ow! Ooh, hello. Get hairy around here. There's a whole load of red dots. I'm also in third person for some dumbass reason. This has all just gone to pot. What's everybody coming from? It was a bad idea to get near that trader. It was like nothing I'd ever played before, and I was. I'm just going to get away from here so I can just actually speak. Right. So anyway, yes, I was completely taken with it. And I was amazed. I was like, this is like nothing I've ever experienced before. A game that can give me... Coming off games where, I'd, you know, you get 10 hours campaign. Or in Call of Duty's case, about half an hour. To suddenly be given this whole massive world to explore where every door opens to something then it was amazing and then after that came out I was like this is the best thing ever I got a couple of thousand hours into that then for uh, uh, New Vegas came out and I was less impressed with that but it was still more of the same well, I don't know where we are that's why we're getting all the, all the uh, mutants and then Skyrim came out and that was insane and that I've got another, you know, a thousand or more hours in that. And then this came out. So I've gone from being a hardcore first person type dude to, um, I want all my games to have big open expansive worlds like this. I want everything to be Fallout, kind of, basically. Because it, I don't want to spend money on a game and just get ten hours out of it. Someone there? What? Who's there? See if I can get a grenade in there. Nope. Huh? What's that? 
don't even know there's somebody up there. Hello, someone there. What? I hear something. No fight today. I like super mutants. One of my favourite lines in this game is where a super mutant says, I am super mutant! And the super mutant stood next to him goes, Yes, I know. I'm stupid, not blind. So I think by virtue of the fact that I can get a thousand hours out of Fallout 3 just by playing the game. And the fact I've got to about 580 hours in this and I'm kind of running out of stuff to do. I'd say Fallout 3 kind of comes off a bit better. But the mechanics not so much. Uh, I've missed loads. Do -do -do -do. We'll um, we'll make an evil chick character who works with the institute next, and etc. etc. Says they're great. Well, my level 73 Peach Marrow says my level 73 character is with the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, I thought you meant you were 73 years old. <laughs> That's me misunderstanding, isn't it? <laughs> my level 73 is with the Brotherhood of Steel. Boo. Uh, I hate cheating. Yeah. That's why with these mods, I haven't gone for any mods that give me any advantages, really. Apart from what carry weight, I haven't given me mods that give me. There's a bit of lag on this bit. I haven't given me mods that give me loads of extra health or anything like that. Because it just makes it boring. God mode makes things boring. If anything, I've gone for mods that actually make it a bit tougher. Not actually physically tougher, like going into hardcore mode, but just tougher because I have to aim carefully and my weapons have small magazines and I have to reload a lot and plan. What city do you think Fallout 5 will take place in, says Peach Mario. I don't know. There's been word of it being in New Orleans. But, I mean, I don't know New Orleans that well. Obviously being in the UK. But my understanding is... Isn't a lot of that area kind of bayou, bayou and swamp? If so...